might be the first that I've seen this. We have a Union Pacific that crawled in here. And he's just probably waiting on another train. He's on the siding right now. But uh, he's setting across a diamond. Union Pacific. Let's see if we can come down here and I don't know how well my light is going to be here, but there is a Union Pacific sitting down here, and I think he's waiting on a <clears throat> eastbound train. I had missed two North Fulsuck Southerns coming through here. So let's check it out here. See if we've got another one on the line coming down here. We must. <coughs> but it's just interesting. He's sitting here right across the diamond. So I've never seen him stop on the diamond before. So that's pretty interesting. It's an intermodal. And he just kind of crawled through here. Uh, two Union Pacifics. So, Jeff, I wanted you to take a look at this, too. I haven't ever seen him stop across the diamond, so there he is right there. He's on the wait, so we must have another one coming on the main. So, that's, that's my guess, anyways. That's pretty interesting. Intermodal, setting across the diamond. <coughs> All right, we'll check and see what we get through here. Let's see if I can jump over here real quick and see if I can get kind of a shot of him there. There he is right there. Like I said, lighting's not so good, but he's on the wait. So we're going to check and see what he's waiting on, and hopefully we'll catch him. Stalled out intermodal across the diamond. So I don't see anything eastbound just yet. So he may, the eastbound train must be a little ways out. We'll keep an eye on it. Check that out one more time. I said right across this, right across the CN, the Canadian National CSX Diamond, right here. All right, guys, we're still down here with the intermodal. They said he's about. Uh, the eastbound train is about 15 minutes away and uh, this engineer called in and was saying he didn't think this was a good idea so I'm guessing he's trying to get uh, him off the main so he can move on up this only goes into one track outside of town here um, but that engineer said I told him it wasn't a good idea so, anyways, there we're getting a lot of traffic coming through here right now because he's got all the uh, crossings blocked down here. Um, we had a really bad, I thought maybe it might have been for safety measures. We had a really bad wreck uh, back in 95 with Conrail um, where we had a train coming out of the east heading westbound. He was sitting on the, sitting on the main and there was some miscommunication somewhere down the line another train out of the east came and rear-ended the the westbound train and uh so both 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 trains were coming out of the east 
and uh, there's some miscommunications. He rear he rear-ended him and uh, derailed the first train that was sitting there. And we had another eastbound train coming, uh, tanker, and those tankers hit that derailed train on uh, which will be on the siding down there and uh <clears throat> it was bad it was a bad deal during it was right during the winter time there in 95 it was a really cold night and uh you know high winds and all that but uh there's a lot of there's some lo loss of life and and everything you know on this train wreck and it felt like that the fire from them tankers it felt like it burnt for months at least a month but uh if you lived out that way you were evacuated i know jeff lived out that way he had to go stay with relatives um because that's how bad it was so i thought maybe it might have been for for that uh, but look that wreck up, 1995, Effingham, Illinois, Conrail. Uh, again, like I said, the two trains that were heading westbound, the one rear-ended the other one, knocked, it, knocked, knocked the first one across the tracks, and then a tanker came from the other side. And that's when uh, they had a big explosion out there. It was bad. So... Like I said, uh, but I thought maybe that's maybe that was the reason. So they weren't crossing at the same time. It's kind of a dangerous curve down there. So, but uh, anyways, hopefully this guy's coming. It's been more than 15 minutes now. So, anyways, must have been some miscommunication somewhere. I am sitting in town, so we'll keep an eye out. All right, guys, I'm wondering maybe if he's not going to back up or if he's going forward. We got the intermodal waiting down here on the north end of town. I'm wondering if he's going to unblock the diamond. I still don't see. They may be having. Nope, he's going to go forward, it looks like. Yep, he's going to go. Maybe see if he can get across this diamond. Or is he going on the siding? I don't know. Check it out. Canadian National across. 
because it is 10 o'clock. This is uh, intermodal, Canadian National Intermodal, every night at 10. CSX though to stay across that diamond. He's gonna make sure he got got across it one way or the other. be clear all right not sure what the mix-up was if they had a breakdown or what's going on but I know he's moving up yep he's going pretty slow still so he just may be moving up just to get just to set outside of town here all right well there he goes we didn't get the I guess you got to see a little bit of the engines but of course it was all dark over here but all right guys it'll be something interesting to put on youtube so all right we'll talk to you guys on the next video all right guys intermodal move down the line he was just sitting there he is now, looks to be out of town now. But, uh, that's going to make way for Canadian National here coming through. May have had a breakdown on the main. Here comes uh, Canadian National. He's sitting down there. Here he comes now. Nope, this is not an intermodal. That's another Union Pacific.
He acts like he's gonna stall out. 